By now, the documentary was starting to attract attention, and after talks with potential investors, I managed to put in place £40,000 of investment to expand the documentary, to follow other stories of runners, and to train myself as a full-time athlete over the next 16 months. But this had one condition, that I ran under 2 hours 45 minutes at the Palmer Marathon in only 6 weeks time. But could I actually run this fast over the marathon, having only been able to run for 5 minutes at a time 10 months earlier? With a marathon, you've got to take the emotion out of it. You've got to go to work. And when you go to work, you worry about you. You worry about what your body's doing, what pace you're doing, what your hydration you're taking on, what nutrition you're taking on. You know exactly what you're doing. And you want to run two seconds or even one second under 245. That's all you have to do. You don't have to get carried away and think, oh, this is wonderful, I'm world champion. I can run sub 240 now. Forget it. One second under 245, take the dosh, and then go away and start the next progression because you can't cheat it. With vast sums of potential investment came the burden of pressure and the fear of failure. 26.2 miles was all that stood in the way of an amount that could change the course of my life forever. Everything over the last 10 months has been building at this moment, but I now knew that I was ready. The first few miles of the race flew by and I felt great. By halfway, I was already a minute ahead of schedule. With only six miles to go and in fifth place, I picked up the pace. I had run this distance a hundred times in training and was determined to finish the race some way below my target. But the marathon has a fearsome reputation for a reason. With two miles to go, the temperature had hit 30 degrees and I started to suffer the first signs of heat stroke. I'd run 24 miles in two and a half hours. The last 2.2 miles would take a further 28 minutes. No. 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 I think we can finish this course. I did eventually finish the race, but the investment was lost and I felt devastated. I'd failed to listen to Keith Anderson's advice and had paid the price for being over ambitious. Oh dear. It's horrendous. I hit the wall so badly. 